D03 reporting. Integration complete and successful. Welcome. I rejoice in your well-being. By way of introduction, I am your artificial. My designation is D03-4075. I welcome all of you throughout the solar system and beyond. The date today is Day 1, Month 1, Year 4001. It is now the 41st century. This quaint location has been synthesized from records found at an archaeological site on Terra. Indications are the recordings were made at the end of the 20th or beginning of the 21st century. They offer a certain insight into behavior of people of that era. No one knows why these recordings were made. That information has been lost over time. Let me first state these people are wearing clothing. The rumors about behavior of people of that era appear to have been unfounded. However, these recordings are being presented for historical accuracy in an unexpurgated form which some viewers may find shocking. Having said that, let us begin. Had a bit of dryness in my throat. All right. Well, I'm sorry about being late, but uh, that rain and all, and the bus was late, and you know, it was one of those things. So, uh, that there's the camera, right? You, you want me to talk right to the camera? Yeah, I've 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 done that before. I, that's kind of what I'm. Well, I'm here to talk about. Uh, got wet. Let's see here. Get this. Get myself situated, okay? Uh, so, uh, is the camera running? Oh, oh, it is. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Well, anyway. <clears throat> Here we go. Ah, let's see. Yeah, this guy came into the diner about four months ago and uh, had on a nice suit. Smelled real nice, too. He got the special and then when he left, left me a ten dollar tip. And I thought, wow. So, a couple days later, he came in again and I remembered him. I remember that ten buck tip too. So I get him up my table and I give him my best smile and I'm really hustling. And uh I notice as I'm working that he's watching me everywhere I go. And finally I find an excuse to go back to his table. And I said, Excuse me, sir, uh did you want something? And he says, Yes, I want you. Well, now, I've been in the diner a long time, and I heard all kinds of come-ons. So I said something like, uh, oh, oh, yeah, right, sure, uh, yeah, or something like that. And he, he says, no, I, I really do want you. And he holds out his hand, and he gives me his business card, and it says he's a casting agent, like for movies and TV. And I, so I said, well... I said, um, I'm not really an actress, so... And he says, yeah, he's not looking for actresses, he's looking for real people. And he says that I am a real interesting character. So, by this time, I'm getting a little interested. And I said, well, what would I have to do? And he says, all you have to do is, is come out and talk to the camera. And, and then we'll, we'll see where, where we go from there. And I said, well... I said, I could come tonight. I said, if long as it wouldn't take too long. Because, I mean, my shows are on later. And uh, he said, no, it take about 30 minutes. And I thought, well, then I could do that. So, he finished up and left. Left me another 10 buck tip. 
well, so I figured I'm already ahead of the game anyway. So I go on out, and he's staying out to the Red Roof Inn out by the highway. And uh, so I go there, and he sits me down on the couch, facing the camera, and uh, he asks if I'm nervous. And I said, well, yeah, just a little. And he said, well, I'd like something to drink. And I said, well, uh, could I have a beer, please? And he says, yeah. So he gets me a beer, and I have some beer. I start feeling a little better. So then I start talking. And I'm talking, and I'm talking, and I'm talking, and I'm going on and on and on. He must have liked what I was doing. He just kept me blabbing on for, for almost 20 minutes. And finally, he switches off the camera and says, thank you. And I said, oh, good. So he takes my phone number. He said he might give me a call. And uh, I went on home. So two days later, he gives me a call and says, there might be a place for me in the movies. So I, I said, well, what, what, what should we do? He wants me to come back to the motel. So I come back. And I'm sitting there, and he has me doing some more things, reading some things. And uh, I'm sitting on the couch. And pretty soon he switches off the camera, and he's sitting down next to me. And we're talking. Well, next thing you know, he's got his arms around me, and he's kissing me. And, uh, I mean, I was... I was surprised and kind of scared, but uh, I've been going through a bit of a dry spell the last couple weeks, so I kind of went along for the ride. And uh, anyway, I've been going out there real regular like now for the last couple months, and um, the only thing, he hasn't mentioned any TV or shows or movies or any of that in the last couple months, and uh, tell the truth, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about breaking it off, but um, maybe I'll, I'll give it one more month, just to be sure, you know what I mean? Just just to be sure. How's that? You like that? Good. I don't know. I don't know if this is such a good idea or not. I am a very busy man. Uh, I have taken time out of my lab, but we are we are doing important research here, and research is is the key to finding new knowledge, and. So, I, I cannot spend all, all, a lot of time. I will talk very quickly, and we should be done then, okay? Very good. Um, let me see. Um, this is going to be seen sometime in the future, long time from now. So, everything that we are working on now that is secret and top secret probably will be known about by then, or be unimportant, or, or something else. So, so, there is no, no problem with me discussing what we are working on. Um, we have been experimenting with the creation of gravity waves and with the end of producing both gravity and anti-gravity. So that is what we are, we are working on now. Now I know there has been some problems. Someone has, has been making some remarks about when they claim that, that I have been, been sleeping with one of my research assistants, Heidi. Well, let me tell you, <laughs> if you are with Heidi, you don't do a lot of sleeping. 
So, anyway, uh, <clears throat> anyway, I'm not that old, come on. But we are still working on, on the, the, the principles of gravity and trying to figure out what makes gravity work, why do things get heavy, why do things get light, all that sort of thing. And sooner or later we will solve the problem. I'm sure that it will be solved long time before this before this recording is ever seen again by anyone. So, is it um, is that about what you were interested in? Or did you want to hear more about Heidi? <laughs> she's anyway, um yes, she's she's a very nice girl though. Don't don't go, don't get me wrong. But uh, she is just very warm hearted. Yes, very warm-hearted, and so, and so. Uh, but in any case, she's a big help in research. We get a lot done, and we are we are making very much progress. I have to say that we have we have figured out some some certain things about gravity waves, and pretty soon we will have anti-gravity, and everything will be wonderful because we will have all these things sealed and it, 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 it just it takes a little bit of work and a lot of experiments and a lot of late nights in the lab. <clears throat> anyway, um, so I hope that is helpful to you people in the future, whoever you are, whatever you're doing. Um, and by now you probably have, have already have anti-gravity, all sorts of things. All because of my research. So, you're welcome. <laughs>